Good evening, everybody. Today we are going to learn how to how to remove a carbon from a long chain, right? That is, uh, we can uh, we have to deduct one carbon from the chain, right? So let me give you first uh, the principle of deducting carbon from the chain, right? So To deduct carbon from the chain, our basic interconversion compound is carboxylic acid, right? This is so. Anyhow, we have to convert our targeted compound to carboxylic acid. Then uh, we'll convert this carboxylic acid to uh, amide, and then we'll you we'll apply Hopman degradation reaction, right? Th that is, we'll add bromine and caustic potash. Then uh, this carbon th then this carbon uh, will go away and will get uh, one less carbon than our parent compound right so compare this and this compound uh, you will understand these things so please uh, look at this reaction closely and you will understand what I want to say to you so now we'll go to the uh, practical uh, practical example uh, so that we can easily understand we'll <coughs> convert propanol to ethanoic acid here you see ethanoic acid has uh, two carbon right on the other hand propanol has three carbon so and through this conversion we'll also learn how to convert ethylamine ethanol and ethanol right and all this compound has two carbon but only uh, propanol has three carbon this has three but this has two 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 right well Propanol, this is propanol. If you add here potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid, at first you will get uh, propanol, which will be oxidized uh, by the same reason to propanoic acid, right? So, this is our, uh, this is our basic compound of degrading carbon, right? Degradating carbon, however. If you add here phosphorus pentachloride, then which of carboxylic acid will be replaced by chlorine and you will get propanoyl chloride, right? You will get a link uh, in the description box of this video. Please check that. Well, and this propanoic acid, this uh, propanoyl chloride will react with ammonia, aqueous ammonia, and this chlorine will be replaced by NH2 group, right? NH2 group, and you will get propanamide, which is amide. And then you have to uh, apply Hopman degradation reaction, that is, you have to add bromine and potassium hydroxide then you will see this carbonyl group right this carbonyl group will be will go away and you will get this compound this is this is ethyl amine right ch3 ch2 nh2 this is ethyl amine and if you add here nitrous acid which is which will no HNO2 nitrous acid right which will come from by the reaction between HCl and sodium nitrite and this nitrous acid will react with NH2 group and will get here a wedge group that is will get ethanol right and if you 
oxidize this ethanol by potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid then at first we will get ethanol and this process will continue and at last you will get ethanoic acid so ethanoic acid has two carbon right so so we have uh, we have learned that to deduct one carbon uh, from from a chain anyhow we have to convert the our targeted compound to alkanoic acid then we have to apply Hoffman degradation reaction check the description box of this video to get more information thank you for viewing this video be well